Hi guys, welcome to .NET Mob. In this video, we will learn how to install SQL Server 2014 Express version and how to install SQL Server Management Studio 2014. So let's get started. First of all, let me Google SQL Server 2014 download. In the search result, you can see the link download Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express from official website. I have given the link in video description. Now click on the link. Now we are in Microsoft official website for downloading SQL Server 2014 Express. Other than this Express version, SQL Server has paid versions like Standard, Enterprise, Business Intelligence, and so on. Express version is free for students for learning purpose below that you can see a drop down to select languages by default it will be english for now we will select english and then here we have the download button below that you can see some additional details and minimum system requirements and install instructions with additional informations now click on this download button it will pop up a window with a list of installation files to be downloaded. Before that, we have to check whether our system is 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. For that, go to my computer, then right click, then click on this properties. There you can see system type as 64-bit operating system or 32-bit operating system. In my case, my system is 64-bit operating system. Now back to the browser first of all we have to select the installation file for sql server i will select express 64 bit if you have 32 bit you can select this file and then for management studio i will select this 64 bit version for 32 bit you can select this one on total i have 900 mb to be downloaded now click on next it is asking for permission to download multiple files click on allow so those uh, two files are downloading now I will post this video recording and we will uh, resume after finishing the download now we are completed with our download first of all I am going to install SQL Server Express right click on the file SQL EXPR then click on run as administrator it will ask a file to extract the installation files click on ok so it is extracting the uh, installation files to this folder sql expr underscore x64 no extraction is completed wait for a moment it will start the installation So it will open a window with SQL Server Installation Center. So we are going to install a new uh, instance of SQL Server. For that, click on this new SQL Server standalone installation. It will open another window. Now we have to accept the license terms. Then click on Next then it will check uh, some rules all rules must be uh, successfully validated then it will uh, give some recommendation for updates for now i am skipping the updates click on next click on next Now we have to select the features for our installation by default all of the features are selected and i want to just keep it as it is and here you can see the uh, installation file directory uh, the installed files will be uh, copied into this location if you want to change the location you can click on this button then you can select the file where you want to save the installed files then click on next in this step we have to specify our SQL instance name in this case I will name it as SQL 2014 and the same name will be used as instance ID now click on next 
you can see SQL Server database engine and SQL Server browser keep it as it is and click on next in this step we have to configure our server uh, here we have the uh, windows authentication mode selected and other than that you can see mixed mode SQL Server authentication and windows authentication so we will be discussing the mixed mode in the next video for now keep it as it is click on next now installation is in progress it will take some time uh, for now i will post the video recording now installation is come to an end now we have completed installation of sql server 2014 successfully now close the window now go to start then search for run application click on the run application then type services.msc like this then click on ok it will open a window with a list of services that are installed in your system there you can see the sql server instances that we have installed in my case there are two instances sqle 2012 and sql 2014 and this is the one that we have just installed and now it is running if you want to stop or restart we can use these uh, buttons next we are going to install sql server management studio 2014 before that let me show you one frequent error while we install SQL Server in our systems. The error shows like this NetFX3 error. We can resolve this problem by enabling .NET Framework 3.5. If you face this problem during installation of SQL Server, close the installation and then you need to enable .NET Framework 3.5. I have given a link in video description on how to enable .NET Framework 3.5 in your system. Please go through that and if you have any problem, let me know in the comment box. Okay. Now we are going to install SQL Server Management Studio 2014. For that, right click on this SQL Server Management Studio, then click on Run as Administrator. Now it is asking for a directory to extract installation files. Click on OK. Installation files will be moved into this folder. Now file extraction is completed. It will start the installation automatically. Wait for a moment. Now in order to start the installation, Click on this new SQL Server standalone installation. Now it will open a new window. Rule checking is in progress. Click on next. Here we have two types of installation. Perform a new installation of SQL Server. And second one is add features to an existing instance of SQL Server 2014. We will select this one and click on next now. I will I will check this checkbox for uh, client to server communication and then for uh, backward compatibility then client tools STK then management basics and this is for the management studio uh, so I selected all of these uh, features click on next installation is in progress for now I will post the recording Installation of Management Studio is come to an end. Now we have completed installation of SQL Management Studio 2014 successfully. Now close these windows. 
in order to see the newly installed management studio go to start search for sql server management studio otherwise you can search for s s m s ssms is the short form for sql server management studio uh, in my case i have two management studio one for the uh, 2012 and this is the new one sql server 2014 management studio click on it in order to check whether the installation of sql server is successful or not here we can connect the uh, newly installed sql server instance for that click on this arrow then click on browse for more under database engine you can see the installed instances in your system so i will select the newly installed sql 2014 click on ok and keep the authentication as windows authentication click on connect in order to check whether the installation of sql server is successful or not click on this new query and you can check the sql server version by querying like this select at at version now click on execute so here you can see the install instance details here microsoft sql server 2014 and it is express edition that's it guys thanks for watching this video tutorial please be subscribed to my channel dotnet mob for awesome videos like this and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye